This Labor Day weekend, a group of educators in Chesterfield are pushing for a seat at the table when it comes to writing their employee contracts. Our Elizabeth Holmes shows us why the District's Education Association is now hoping to get staff on board with collective bargaining. At the Willow Lawn Starbucks on Sunday, you might have seen this sign in the window. A seat at the table, collective bargaining now. We could have a say in what our contracts um, say, what our working conditions are, and not only does it, I think, benefit us, all the teachers, um, all the employees, but I also think it creates a better environment for education. That's where we find Todd Starkweather, a teacher in Chesterfield, helping gather staff to show their support for collective bargaining. You know, lunches, being able to use the bathroom, just those kind of material conditions of one's work environment, um, you know, along with the pay, I think, are what teachers uh, want to have addressed. The last CBS 6 reported in July, there were 232 reported teacher vacancies in the district. Educators say this could fix it. Right now our contracts are pretty short and vague, and so with the staffing vacancies, um, you know, we're kind of having to overcompensate for the lack of workers, and people are being pretty stretched thin right now. We know with better contracts, people are going to want to come to Chesterfield and work, and they're going to want to stay there too. The Education Association would need about 70% of staff in Chesterfield to sign one of these authorization cards, pledging their support before coming before the school board with a resolution to bargain. That could take months and hinges on the board's approval. Critics of collective bargaining suggest it would limit taxpayer representation during negotiations and potentially divert money away from other educational needs. We were able to push for salary scale decompression two, three years ago without collective bargaining and we were successful in it. And so this is not about salary and wages and benefits right away. This is more about ensuring that employees have a well-written contract that they can adhere to, that their supervisors can adhere to and hold them accountable to. CBS 6 reached out to the school board but did not get a response over the holiday weekend. Educators are hopeful they'll work to find common ground. We can't do this alone and it will just go to show that the power of a united workforce, like what we can truly accomplish when we all work together and fight for what Chesterfield students deserve. Working for you, I'm Elizabeth Holmes, CBS 6 News.